Yes, even Fox News has to admit that there is a mass exodus away from the Republican Party as mainstream Republicans, conservatives, independents are saying we're done with this MAGA extremism. We're done with this Trump. The Republican Party has left us. One of my favorite things I do here on the Midas Touch Network is to share your stories, whether it's your story, a neighbor, coworker, friend, colleague, family member who has left the Republican Party or who no longer will support them because the Republican Party has left them. Maybe you're someone who's previously voted for Donald Trump and no longer will be vote for him and no longer will support this modern day Republican Party because of their behavior. So I wanna share those stories with you. And as I do that, though, I want to start with this, though, because I am part of the kind of Trump list serve. So you don't have to be a member of it. I want to see like what he's sending. What, what, What is he sending to his followers today? Like, what do they get? And so what Trump is sending is an American flag pin with his name on it that says Trump and he sells it for anywhere on the low end. You can qualify for it at $50, but if you want the Trump flag pin, which is his name on the American flag, well, that's gonna cost you $1,000. That's what they're charging. You can see it right there. Um, Let's take a look at some of the stories you shared with me. Let me know your story as well in the comments below. Jay writes, I was born in 1970 and grew up in a very conservative household with generations of hardline Republicans in the family tree. I was a registered Republican voter until the day Trump made fun of veterans and the disabled. COVID really turned me off from Trump. I changed my Republican status to Democrat. I'm an ex-combat veteran and I spent years on the team fighting to uphold democracy and our constitution. Trump identifies with his angry and racist cult. I'll never vote Republican ever again. God bless our troops and America. Next comment. My grandfather, who I have the utmost respect for, admitted to me that in 2016, he did vote for Trump. But when Trump mocked the handicapped at his rallies, my grandfather, who has a daughter fully cared for by the state due to developmental handicap, he told me that was the last straw. He's since been extremely critical of Trump, even among his conservative friends. Now he's a never Trumper. Proud of you. Gramps. As Dave writes, the single greatest underreported story in America since 2020, and particularly since January 6, 2021, is the number of decent, honorable Republicans who have quit the party that betrayed them. We've been sharing here now, what, tens of thousands of stories, though, about this, and it's not merely anecdotal anymore. I mean, the data that we have is just so overwhelming here at the Midas Touch Network of people who have left the Republican Party because the party left them. Rosanna writes, I'm a Vietnam vet and my tipping point was when Trump made his disparaging remarks about John McCain. Elizabeth writes, I'm an independent. I voted for Trump in 2016 as a vote against Hillary. I didn't make the decision until I was in the voting booth. It was a terrible decision. He is loathsome. He is a loathsome individual who is prejudiced against women and people of color, whether citizens or immigrants. I don't understand why any woman, why any person of color, why any Christian or anyone in the military would be foolish enough to support Trump. Jim writes, I'm a registered Republican, but I couldn't vote for Trump in 2020 only because of his hate and lies. The Democrats have become the new grand old party. Gene Bowers writes, my husband opened his eyes when it was clear Trump cheated on Melania. That was too much for him. I'm so relieved to hear him say he can't vote Trump. I want to share more stories with you, of course, but I do think it's important. A lot of the comments are talking about how Trump mocks the disabled. Let me just show you one example of that. Play this clip. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I had the, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still, they didn't do a retraction. And here is Donald Trump mocking uh, the fact that President Biden occasionally stutters. Here, play this clip. So I'm going to bring the country to, 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 uh, together. I'm going to bring it together. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach. It's a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. Then on the app, it lets you know if you're burning fat or carbs and gives you tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, 
workout, sleep, and even stress management. That's why I love it. All you have to do is you breathe into your lumen first thing in the morning and you'll know what's going on in your metabolism, whether you're burning mostly fats or carbs. Then lumen gives you a personalized nutrition plan for that day based on your measurements. You can also breathe into it before and after workouts and meals so you know exactly what's going on in your body in real time. And lumen will give you tips to keep you on top of your health game. Your metabolism is your body's engine. It's how your body turns the food you eat into fuel that keeps you going. Because your metabolism is at the center of everything your body does, optimal metabolic health translates to a bunch of benefits, including, including easier weight management, improved energy levels, better fitness results, better sleep, etc. Lumen gives you recommendations to improve your metabolic health. It can also track your cycle as well as the onset of menopause and adjust your recommendations to keep your metabolism healthy through hormonal shifts so you can keep up your energy and stave off cravings. Look, I love Lumen and I know you will too. So if you want to take the next step in improving your health go to lumen l-u-m-e-n dot m-e slash midas to get 15 percent off your lumen that is l-u-m-e-n dot m-e slash midas for 15 percent off your purchase one more time go to lumen dot me slash midas l-u-m-e-n dot m-e slash midas and get 15% off your purchase. Thank you, Lumen, for sponsoring this episode. I wanted to share those moments with you because you see a lot of comments about that was a major kind of turning point for people. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, the next uh, comment, my wife grew up in a very military conservative family. She's voted Republican as long as I've ever known her, despite a lot of our conversations. Recently, we were sitting around talking about Trump's conviction on 34 counts when she made the statement to me, quote, if 12 complete strangers can find him completely guilty at every single count, I don't know how anyone can say that it's rigged. She then went on to say, quote, when prominent Republicans start comparing him to Jesus on the cross, that was too far for me. I'm not going to be able to vote for Trump. And now I'm rethinking voting for any of them. And look, you got Donald Trump making posts like this with Jesus on his uh, shoulder. And, and, you know, you got Donald Trump engaged in real horrible conduct, uh, conduct like that. Melissa writes. I stopped voting Republican when Trump put down kids with autism. My son has autism and Biden truly cares about kids with autism. Next comment, the Republican Party left me behind. I voted Libertarian over Trump and Clinton in 2016. Then I voted for Biden. I will never be MAGA. It's Cresto fascism. Uh, there is a picture of me and Vice President Cheney. So yeah. Kathy writes, I left the Republican Party halfway through Trump's presidency. He showed the real him and it was disgusting. Sparkalina writes, I live in the apartment building for seniors and disabled where several disabled veterans call home. In 2016 and 2023 were diehard Trump supporters until he mocked them. This year, those three disabled veterans voted for Biden in the primary and voting Biden and Democrat in November. Um, look, want to share this with you as well. Remember, one of the things Donald Trump did recently is he called for the death penalty. He called for the execution of the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley. And then Donald Trump also attacked his own former chief of staff, the retired General John Kelly, because John Kelly said that he heard and he's aware that Donald Trump called those who died serving our country suckers and losers. So Trump attacked his own former chief of staff. You, you can see the post right there. I mean, this, this is horrendous conduct. Greg writes, I'm a Democrat, but my wife is a lifelong Republican. She can't stand what happened to the party. She does not believe in what the party has become. She will be switching her voter affiliation at some point, not to Democrat, but to independent. Donald Trump is the reason. She cannot stand him and what he represents as a person. I cannot for the life of me figure out what it is about him that people like so much. I go back to the fact that he bankrupted a casino, a casino, the business that pretty much prints their own money and just forget the casino. He bankrupted all of his other business, like most of his other businesses as well. I mean, just think about uh, not just Trump Taj Mahal, but think about Trump University and Trump Stakes and the Cologne and the Cologne. Think about uh, uh, Trump Mortgage and Trump Jets and, uh, and, 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 and all that crap. Um, Bob writes, I had a great Father's Day yesterday just to hear my brother-in-law say that he has had it with Trump and MAGA bullcrap and will be voting straight blue. 
Thanks, Pat, for finally seeing the light. My father was a diehard Republican and voted for Trump the first time around. He was a damn fine Marine when he heard Trump mocking the losers, as Trump called military soldiers who got captured in the line of duty. He switched at that moment and said he can no longer support someone who can't respect the very people who fought and died for this wonderful country. No matter what is happening in our country, you have to appreciate the ones who gave us our freedoms. I had never been as proud of him as I was when he told me that, and I was always proud to call him my father. I think that's very uh, powerful right there. Um, next comment. I left the cult the day Trump merchandise was released with a photo of him the day he surrendered with the wording never surrender. And by the way, that's what they're flying instead of the American flag at the Trump events. These never surrender flags with Trump's face on it, the same way he's selling the pin with his name uh, Trump on it. I mean, that's what he was doing uh, as well there. Um, my parents lived in rural Texas, a rancher. I overheard my dad agreeing with neighbors on Trump in public, but in private he told me that he and mom didn't and would never vote for Trump. He said what he had to say in order to maintain local relationships. I feel like this attitude is more prevalent than we think. Um, Pam writes, I was a lifetime Republican. I worked for the party, canvassing and working as a polling judge. I went online January 6th and formally registered as a Democrat. It's not just Trump, but my Republicans went nuts supporting him. They allowed Trump to destroy uh, the party. Um, and by the way, let, let me show you this too. This is just a video where Donald Trump um, mocked John McCain and said that he prefers people who don't get captured, just so you can see it here. Play this clip. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war PhD hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you agree with that? Cindy writes, I'm 67. I was a lifelong Republican. My parents were, so I was. I stopped watching the news, but still voted Republican. During the pandemic, I started paying attention and then started listening to what Trump was saying. The more I paid attention, the more I didn't like. When I heard what he said about McCain and all our veterans, I became aware of my ignorance. I think back now at my life, wondering why I was so angry with anyone not Republican. I can't tell you where the hate came from. At that point, I vowed never to be ignorant again. I watch, read, and research the news now. Jimmy writes, my father-in-law has been a Republican since Reagan, but he will be voting for Biden this November. Enough is enough. Arnulso writes, after 50 years a Republican, I have now left the GOP because of what happened with Trump. I will vote for President Biden and all the Democratic blue tickets down the ballot. Anna Marie writes, my whole family that were lifelong Republicans now only vote Democrat. Even my crazy uncle I just learned is no longer. They all say they will never vote Republican again. That is a miracle from God. Independent for life goes, I'm independent and voted two times for Trump. I'm so sorry, America. Voting Democrat until MAGA is gone, probably the rest of my life, because of the disgusting and disgraceful behavior of MAGA. You know, one of the things, too, that's worth mentioning, you know they don't sing the national anthem at the Donald Trump events. They sing a song by the J6th Choir. Um, and Donald Trump puts that out on like iTunes and he goes, and they go, everybody stand and rise for the song by the J6 choir who have been so unfairly treated. That's what they do at the Trump events. I mean, how unhinged and deranged uh, is that? So I just wanted to share all of that with you so you can see these stories. If you have a story, share it with me below. And I think that what we are going to be seeing here um, over the coming months is uh, this is going to be a trend. As more people start paying attention to what Trump is saying, don't get me wrong, I think there's 25, 30% of our country, unfortunately, who's deeply embedded in this Trump cult. But I think by and large, uh, when our country and the people who live here, of course, get uh, knowledge and they have the info and they see what's happening, not the propaganda, they see for themselves the clips, what he's saying, what he's doing, what he's talking about. Um, America is a decent place. America is a compassionate place. America is a pro-democracy place. America is a place where we support our allies. That's what America is about. It's not a hateful place that Donald Trump wants it to be, that supports our enemies and wants to overthrow democracy. We, we don't want to live in an authoritarian state. We don't. And so it's just important. Let's get the knowledge out together. and. Let people know about this series of videos that we do, because I think it's helpful when we see other stories to know that we're not alone in this. 
I'm Ben Micellis. This is the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.